Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and today we are checking out Pixelrama. Now Pixelrama is an open source, MIT licensed, completely free pixel graphics suite with animation capabilities. It's also got a couple of really cool party tricks up its sleeve as we will see in just a second. But first off, let's show you Pixelorama. Here you can see it in action. It's pretty straightforward and clean to use. You've got a left-hand item. This will be your brush. You can control how it is drawn over here. And then on the right-hand side, you have another option, in this particular case, the eraser. So if you click left, it'll do the left brush. You click right, it will do the right brush. And you can change out how these things particularly work. You've also got different drawing tools in the form of paint bucket and darkening and so on. You've got color picking and you've got your paintbrush. Down across the bottom you have your timeline you can create frame based animation so for example if I wanted to make a six frame animation I now have it click frame one and let's do a very simple animation here uh, so this is a 64 by 64 you can see it up here we can create different sizes obviously uh, but I'm gonna go ahead frame one we'll create a ball frame two we'll move it down frame three we'll move it down some more frame four move it down some more and frame five, we'll start a bit of a splat and big time splat. There you go. So you see, very simple animations. We got our timeline controls for handling it and then boom. And at the same time, we've got the ability to skin out frames as we are going through. So as we go through the timeline, you can see what is going to happen. So you have your onion skinning options. You've also got the ability. So let's go down here. We can frame out previous frames too. So you can see how we came from. And as I mentioned earlier on, you also have layer support over here that you can work with. And that is essentially Pixelrama. It's a very straightforward pixel based, uh, editor so you can create your pixel graphics directly in here and as you can see you've got animation support as well when you're done you can export it as a ping graphic um or you can do i don't know why there's two options there so you can export as a ping and export ping as i'm not sure what the difference is there you can also import in ping graphics although to be honest i did have some issues when I tried doing this in the past. It crashed under certain pings. Worked for other ones. Not really sure what's going on. At the same time, you got the ability to zoom in, zoom out. You can uh, have it have a full fat grid that you can work with. So if you're working at individual pixel levels, you do have that option. Like so uh, you can copy and paste and clone frames. Same thing with layers. You can move them up and down. You can duplicate them and so on. And essentially that is the gist of Pixelorama. Now I had to mention that there were a couple of party tricks here. First one is here we are in my browser running Firefox, and guess what? Exact same functionality. So you can actually run this guy fully in a browser, which is very, very cool, actually. Uh, so what I'm doing right now is I'm hosting this on my local server. Uh, I just did a build of it and then run it through HTTP server from Node. And as you can see, you can run it locally. Now the file system is a little bit strange in this case. It's this uh, virtualized file system, home web user. I haven't really looked into it too much how that would actually interact, uh, but that's more of a limitation of the web browser thing than it is of Pixelorama. But as you can see, same functionality, same tools, same basic interface. You still get your right click to handle everything. It works exactly like the other version, which is very cool. And in fact, you could probably make this guy for iOS and Android and Linux and Mac if you so wished. And the reason for that is the second party piece. This guy is written entirely in the Godot game engine, which is really cool. It's, it's all written in GD script, so you can see it's straightforward. The user interface is just a scene. It's using various different controls. The logic, I believe, is almost all done in GD script. So you can see here, all the, the logic here, if you want to add to it or change the styling or change the details or whatever, it's written in GD script in the Godot game engine. So if you want to come in and change things, it is exceptionally easy in Pixelorama. So it's a straight out Godot project. So that's what I did. I just did a build for it uh, for the various different platforms I was interested in. So I did a Windows and HTML5 build, but there's no reason why you couldn't build it for the various other different platforms that are supported on the Godot engine. And it should work there as well. Now, Pixelorama 0.5 was just released, I believe. I'll just go over and give you a couple more details. So here we are back in the browser. Uh, this is the the itch.io website. So you can see some of the new or some of the details of the 5.5 version. Uh, there's six tools: pencil, eraser, fill bucket, light and dark, and color pickle and rectangle select. Different color and brush sizes for each of the mouse buttons. Uh, support for two custom brushes from file and per project brushes. Uh, create a new canvas with the size of your choosing. Uh, animation tools we saw right there with its own timeline. Import images and edit them inside. Although again, I had some issues. You can export out as a PNG. Uh, save SND. Oh, save. Oh, I think that's and. Open your project as Pixelrama's custom file format PXO. Undo and redo support. Uh, horizontal and vertical mirror drawing if you want it. Tiled mode for pattern creation. Uh, split screen. So. Um, 
add a mini canvas preview area to see it twice. You can zoom. I think you can zoom those separately, by the way, as well. Uh, create straight line for pencil holding down the shift while you draw. Middle mouse wheel isn't forgotten. You can use that for zooming and panning. There's keyboard shortcuts, uh, onion skinning, rulers and guides, scaling and cropping, and Greek localization is available as well if you want to grab it. Uh, it's donation-based, so if you want to support them, you have the option, or you can just skip it and go ahead and download the binaries. Now, specifically in this particular case, as you can see, they've done builds for Windows, Linux, and Mac. But if you want to do an HTML five build like I've done. It's actually entirely hosted up on GitHub. Uh, as I mentioned at the very, very start of this video, it is under the MIT license. If you don't know your source code license, MIT license, basically you, you absolve them of responsibility. If your computer blows up, uh, you got to keep the license with it. And that's about it. So it's a very straightforward license. Uh, if you want to grab this guy, literally all you do is um, clone this project down and then import it into Godot. And then you've got it up and running. It's a very cool project. Uh, and if you kind of already know GDScript and you wanted a tool to work from, it's incredibly easy to customize it because of the way it's built. All right, so that's it. That's Pixelorama, uh, an MIT open source free uh, pixel editing and animation software written entirely in Godot and GDScript. Uh, definitely worth checking out. Even if you don't care about the Godot part, it's a very solid uh, pixel animation tool. If you do work with Godot, though, it's, it's even better. So it's, it's a very interesting project, and I figured I would share it with you. Uh, that's it. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.